How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Hamiltonville Farm is located in the Panhandle of Florida. Now why do you need to know that? Because Florida is the Sunshine State. And when I bought my Mahindra 4540, it did not come with a canopy. And I needed something to protect me from all this sunshine that we have down here. So when I was working in my fields or when I was working around the yard trying to clean up stuff, I got to have some protection from that summer heat, that sunshine. I mean, it is brutal down here in the Panhandle of Florida. And so I did all my research and I looked at all the forms, I looked at all the websites, and I think I made the best decision by going with Rhino Hide Canopies. And so today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Rhino Hide Canopies. <music> So like I said, I did all my research and Rhino Hide Canopies was the best option for me. When I'm wanting to buy something like this for my tractor, I want good customer service and I want high quality material. And if I'm buying something like this, I want it to be made in America. And the good thing about Don and his Rhino Hide Canopy Company is he meets all three of those. He's got great customer service. The quality of the product that he makes is outstanding and it's 100% American made. And so with those three factors, I was like, you know what? I need to get a Rhino Hide Canopy. I'm actually gonna put a link in the description below where you can actually order your Rhino Hide Canopy as well. So Don was gracious enough to send us these, uh, this Rhino Hide Canopy to put on our Mahindra 4540. So let's talk about each component, all right? This is the actual canopy itself. This is made from injected molded plastic. It's UV resistant, it's very durable, and it's a high quality. So it's not gonna fade, it's not gonna warp, it's not gonna twist. And uh, I th <laughs> there's even a video of Don shooting a 20 gauge shotgun through this thing, showing how durable and how tough it is. So uh, you know you're getting a good product when someone's testing it with shotguns, right? <laughs> so uh, anyway, so this is the actual canopy itself. And what the kit comes with, it comes with the struts that you place on it. And I've got the easy on, easy off model. It comes with all the hardware, it comes with the U-bolts, comes with the mounting brackets, it comes with the screen patches underneath it, and, and of course the brackets that mount onto the, uh, the struts that mount onto the bracket itself. So this is the complete kit. It's got everything you need to install the Rhino Hide Canopy onto your tractor. It's a simple process, and I think that when Don was thinking about the design of this Rhino Hide Canopy, he was thinking about, hey, how can I make this as customizable as possible? And so that's why you have so many options on uh, keep it on your ROPS. Keep, and the easy on, easy off model, I can take it on and off. And I can even, if I had a backhoe on the back of this, I could take it off, turn it around and put it on the backhoe. Or if I had a zero turn mower, I could take it off my tractor and put it on my zero turn mower that had a, a rollover protection system on it. So Don's really thought about a lot of this stuff when he went into the design and the manufacturing of the Rhino Hide Canopy. So with that being said, let's get started on actually putting it on the tractor. When you get the kit from Don, it also includes some very easy instructions to follow. It's only six steps to put this thing on. And so we're gonna follow those six steps in the instructions. The first step is to get your tractor level. And then the second step is to start mounting the actual uh, brackets itself. So we've got the tractor as level as we can get it around this property. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna measure about 12 inches from the bend of the rollover protection system down to where the brackets are gonna set. Okay, let's do that step. All right, so the instructions say you wanna measure about 12 inches down. And so I've already looked at mine and it's not quite 12 inches, but I do get lucky because it rests on these brackets on my ROPS here. When I put my bracket here, like so, it's gonna rest. And if I mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, this screen, well, this screen will go in between here, the, in between the bracket and the roller protection system, and that will help uh, as, as it goes under load. Put the bracket on there, kind of loosely put, put your lock washer and your nuts on it. Now this is going to be three quarter inch nuts on uh, your U-bolts. So now that we've got our mounting bracket onto our roller protection system, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, we add the bracket or the strut to the mounting bracket. And we're only going to put the top bolt in at first. I want to put this strut on the bracket using a 916 wrench and a 916 socket. You know, of course, if you got some, like an impact driver or something, this will make it go a little quicker. 
But you're only gonna put the top bolt in first. So far it's been super easy to put on. No issues so far, pretty simple, pretty intuitive. All right, I'm not gonna tighten it the whole way because I want this, let's see if you can look up here, I want this strut to actually move because I'm gonna do some adjustments here. And then after I get it where I want it, I'm gonna tighten it down. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Like I said, I'm not gonna tighten these down so tight right yet because these can adjust forward or backward depending on how you want your uh, canopy to rest over top of your head. And so we take the brackets here. Again, this is the easy on, easy off model. So it just simply goes over here. You slide over the brackets, put your bolt back through it. Okay, now I wanna look to see if this is the, can is this the, how level I want the canopy. So this, at this point I do the adjustment here. And I'm using my calibrated eye. Looks like it's got a little bit of a lean back to the back. And I'll put a level on it here in a sec. Okay, looks good. Now I just gotta duplicate that process on the other side. Now that I've got the strut, the quick, the easy on, easy off strut, where I want it and the position and the angle that I want it, I wanna go ahead and make a mark here. I'm gonna have to drill a hole through the ear of this mounting bracket to secure this bottom nut. And that's gonna be the first of six holes I've gotta drill. I've gotta drill one on this side, one on the other side on the same bracket, and then four in the canopy shell itself, and then I'm done. I'm almost done putting this thing on. So far it's been super easy, super customizable, and uh, I'm digging it so far. So let's, do, let's drill these holes so, right quick. All right, Don, when he ships out his instructions and the six easy steps to put this thing on, recommends that you put a C-clamp here when you drill the hole on the bottom. I start with a pilot hole before I actually do the quarter inch hole. So I've got my pilot hole drilled, now I get the quarter inch hole for the bolt. So far we used a three quarter inch socket for our U-bolts, a nine sixteenths for our uh, struts for our bracket, now we need a seven sixteenths for the final bolts that go on your brackets here. Now, if you notice, I've got this nut here. I'm actually gonna turn that around and put the nut on the inside of this ear. So I'm gonna put it like this one. And I think that'd be a little safer so I don't get caught, clothes don't get caught, or maybe a strap off a ball cap or something. But anyway, so I'll, I'm gonna fix this uh, after I put this one. All right, I position the struts on the, on the bottom side of the canopy. You're gonna want the logo facing forward and down when you put your canopy on. So the logo for Rhino Hide Canopies is down, so the underneath of the canopy and toward the front of the tractor. And I've taken the struts off and I've already made my marks that I need to drill my holes with. I position it centered left and right, front and back to my, uh, the way I desired it to be on the tractor. And now all I gotta simply do is put the bolts to the brackets underneath the canopy. So I run this big flat washer here. Again, this is a 7 sixteenths. I'll tighten this down, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I've got the brackets supported onto the struts onto the canopy itself. So now all I gotta simply do on the easy on, easy off model, just need to carry it up on my tractor, set it over the struts, and tighten her down. So let's go ahead and do that. So far, pretty easy. Just like that, my canopy's on. So I've got the canopy installed on the Mahindra 4540. Super easy to do. I mean, a couple of wrenches, a couple of drill bits, and 
and a tape measure and a level, you're good to go. Uh, Don's done a real good job at making sure that uh, you you got it customizable or you can make it customizable for whatever rollover protection system you have or zero turn mower that you have. So I'm really digging it so far. I think it's going to be really durable. I think it's going to provide a lot of shade for me in this uh, Florida sun and I think it's going to keep the temperatures a little cooler while I'm working on the tractor. So I highly recommend that you go check out rhinohidecanopies.com. I'll put the link below and you can when you click on that link you can order direct from that website and you can tell Don that Hamiltonville Farm sent you as well. Anyway, I think it's going to last. I think it's going to be durable. And I'm really happy that I've got some shade on me as I do some work in this hot Florida sun. Thanks a lot for watching. There's going to be a barn pop up over here. I'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. You can follow our social media at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Hamiltonville Farm. And you can just join us on all our social media platforms. And we'd love for you to do that. Okay, take care and we'll see you on the next video.